Hello and welcome to Ple Pleasure Beach Experience. Hello and welcome to Screwy Loops and we have got some hot news straight off the grill somewhere at Pleasure Beach Blackpool. Earlier today, Pleasure Beach tweeted, Icon is getting twisted next spring with Enzo with a little line above the L. How you pronounce that? I do not know. Icon's rear two seats will spin and twist freely during the ride's existing thrilling duration. Hashtag dare to get twisted. Now I think we've all pretty much expected this to come out of the woodworks at some point. This has been a rumour that's been probably going around for around a year or so that Icon is going to have spinning trains on the back. It's nothing new. But the fact that Pleasure Beach have officially announced this is happening means I shall make a video because it's such an exciting thing. And it is big news for us UK enthusiasts. If you're outside the UK, it might not be as exciting for you, but us UK enthusiasts, this is huge. And I am mostly excited. I do have a few concerns, which we will come across a bit later. But for the most part, this is something new and this is gonna be an improvement for Icon, in my opinion. So let's have a look what they've put on the website. Icon with a twist. Ooh. The UK's first and only double launch roller coaster Icon is getting twisted this slash next summer with Enzo. In a first for Europe, Icon's rear seats have been adapted so that riders can spin and twist freely during the ride's existing thrilling duration. So this means it's just the two back seats, it's not actually the back car, which again concerns me just a little bit, which I'll touch up on a bit later. Icon's exhilarating high speed accelerations Electrifying twists and turns and hot stopping interactions will all be turned up to a whole new level by Enzo. Icon launches rides with the same acceleration as a Formula 1 car. Rising and swooping through numerous interactions with other rides before hitting a second launch which powers riders high above Blackpool Pleasure Beach. Enzo magnifies these thrills and creates a whole new experience for those who dare to get twisted. Enzo is a sacred symbol in Zen Buddhism meaning circle, sometimes circle of togetherness. It is traditionally drawn using only one brush stroke as a meditative practice bloody hell as a meditative practice in letting go of the mind and allowing the body to create as the singular brush stroke allows for no modifications. Like the symbol it is named after, once you climb aboard the ride, clear your mind and allow your body to experience the intense, thrilling experiences of Enzo. Dare to get twisted. So if you know me, I am not the biggest fan of Icon. I think it's a good coaster, but as far as I'm concerned, I do think it is a little overhyped. And that's mainly because I just find the first half of this coaster very tame and there's, there's some pacing issues here and there. So having the ability to spin around whilst going around the layer will definitely add a whole new element to the coaster which I'm really excited about. I think spinning through that barrel roll will produce some really weird experiences, especially that junior element, because you get a bit of whip, especially on the back car, that's a, being on the back spinning around. That is gonna be wild. And that second half with the pops of airtime and the G-force, it's gonna be a really exciting experience. Now for my concerns. They've stated it would be the back two seats of Icon, which definitely worries me because I'm thinking this is either gonna be an upcharge, which I don't really mind spending money on. I am a coaster enthusiast after all, and two, everyone is going to be wanting to ride in these spinning seats so if there's a separate queue it is going to be bigger than the normal queue that's a given when i did hear about the whole icon with spinning trains thing i just thought maybe you know it's going to be a whole train with spinning cars which would be a lot better in my opinion which is something i would like more so than just the two seats so i am very worried that the throughput for icon may be a bit of an issue now but with the added benefit of having that spinning experience it'd be like one of those mac extreme spinners i think it'd be more than worth it and let's be honest icon's cues even if it's all the way to the entrance they usually fly by with about 15 20 minutes so you're probably looking at waiting maybe towards an hour if it was a separate queue for that if it isn't a separate queue then it's going to be an absolute gamble trying to get on the back of this thing you've got to look at it from both ways really so that being said it's going to be a super cool season for pleasure beach next year because we've also got Valhalla come in and they've overhauled Valhalla as well not too sure what they've done with Valhalla maybe they've 
replace some of the physical effects that was causing a lot of issues such as the fire with maybe screen based effects that you see on the likes of uh, Pirates of the Caribbean at Shanghai Disney if you've seen that. So we'll just have to wait and see and find out what Pleasure Beach have got, got in store for us next year. So with that it's just something I wanted to share really my thoughts and uh, my possible concerns hopefully <laughs> hopefully it's going to be nothing to worry about what are your thoughts on this let us know in the comments below if you enjoyed this video please hit that like button smash subscribe for more content like this and give the bell a flick to keep all up to date videos on the left merchandise on the right make sure to hit this button for the ride of your life you've been watching screwy loops try a bit